Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarfuccia here, and we've got a new Penn International VISW 80 that we're going to be spooling up with the Power Pro Holocore. Now, this is pretty interesting for me for our library because I've never done the Power Pro Holocore. So, I'm kind of excited. I really am. I like working with new braids and stuff like that because it gives me more for our library and yes if you're new to the channel and you haven't turned on your subscriptions you need to do so turn on the notifications and be sure to give us a thumbs up because with our spooling library it gives us real life numbers of what we're going to be spooling onto reels for our customers and so for us by creating this catalog of reels with line classes and stuff like that you can actually go back through and get your questions answered before you actually call a shop and or you can get an idea of how much line you're going to be working with with whatever weight class that you decide to go through so it's pretty awesome I got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team And for me I'm just building up knowledge For sure Because now When customers are asking You know, how much line or whatever They're going to be putting on It definitely gives us the ability To answer them With confidence That we know because we've already done it. Uh, a lot of times the line capacities that are put onto reels are done by people that work for their company that aren't really there to max, max out the school. They're just there to put line on a reel and try to figure it out and you don't know what um, manufacturer of line they're using. Uh, I know with Avid Reels they use the Jerry Brown Hollow Core for their spooling videos, or their spooling of the reels. But even then too, for them, when I started telling them about the numbers of that I was getting on my reels, it really did uh, change their uh, view on how much line they can get. So, it is nice. So, for us, we're gonna keep rocking it. So, here we go. Oh man, I hate these little spools. Well, I'm, uh, I'll show you when I get done, but let's see what ends up happening here. And I am so hungry right now. Jeff went to go get lunch, so we'll be eating here in a minute, so probably get halfway through with this video when he comes in. But, yes, so we got another reel to put line on. Okay. Here we go. Now, one thing I do notice it is kind of stiff. Get in there. That braid is stiff, like. Yeah, and I could feel, as the needle's going through, I could feel the the braid coming over the tip right there. So this is going to be pretty interesting. And perfect timing. Jeff just walked in with chow. Mm-mm. Mm, starving. <laughs> so. Let's go and get this going. Also, too, we already talked to the customer about this pulling. And he's given us permission to max out the line capacity. That's another thing we do too. Wow. You can feel the abrasion with this. Like it, it's rough. It feels like sandpaper, which that scares me about braid. Uh, when it feels like that, um, it reminds me of solid braid. And when, if you think about it, braid is soft. It's not a rough item because it's, it's, a spectra or uh, some type of cloth now or you know plastic well plastic cannot be rough rubbing up against shell and stuff like that because what ends up happening it's going to lose 
So that's just food for thought right there, guys. But let's see. And I know a Power Pro with their solid braids, they put this coating over their braid. It's supposed to help protect it, but uh, we'll see how it does here. <coughs> All right, guys, so that's 100, and, 100 yards of 130 pound on the reel. And that's the kind of color of coating that's coming off of it. Hmm, I don't know. But let's see. Kind of tough. It's strong on the spool, so let's see how we go. Alright guys, so that's 400 yards and this spool housing has the three markers and we haven't even hit the first one yet. So it's looking like we'll probably hit 800 yards on the first marker. Let's see how that goes. Looks like they have a splice in there. Yeah. Let's see what is that. They sure do. Yep. That was a splice in right there. So, um, Last month sometime I went out to visit Tightline Braid and I was invited to their uh, manufacturing warehouse where they manufacture their braid and we got to see behind the scenes of how braid is actually made. So we learned that when braids actually splice in like that, what is going on, and I'm going to get back to that spot here in just a second so I can show you all. Okay, so you can see right here where it's discolored. And let me give you a little closer. See that? That black braid that's woven in there, it was a starting point or end point of one of their smaller sp uh, spools that create these large um, braids, what it does. And you'll have to look at the video, but so what ends up happening, one of those little spools will run out of braid. So what they do is they stop and it, it'll, it'll weave up, you know, a little bit and you'll have a small section of um, where there's actually missing instead of being 12 carriers it's only 11 carriers and then they splice in a new braid a new spool put it on there and continue going on so for that small section is actually the weakest point of this whole area so instead of it being 12 carrier you know su such as this one or if it's a 16 carrier it'll only be 15 or 11 and then it gets it goes back up so it's just food for thought guys that was something that I didn't know about until we went and visited him and you know big shout out to Tightline Braid for um, showing us that and also telling us how they deal with theirs and what they do is they cut out that whole section they literally cut it right there and they'll use that smaller spools uh, instead of it you know say it's um, 1500 yards or a thousand yards well they make 300 yard spools with it or a thousand yard spool with it but they will not 
continue adding on knowing that that section of braid is one carrier short so it's just food for thought guys you know a lot of great info within our, our spooling library and we'll keep it rocking so Wow, that's 800 yards there, and I'm still about a 330 seconds or an eighth of an inch. That's probably an eighth of an inch short of that first line right there. So that's pretty good. Shoot, probably get 900 yards. We'll see. All right, guys, so I've just barely covered up the line on both sides and I'm at 930 yards so if the math is right I should have 2700 yards 2790 by the time I get to this top layer right here hmm let's see let's see that All right, guys, so I'm at 1,200 yards, and I'm about halfway up to this next one, so let's see. And that's, basically, that's the powder that's coming off. It really doesn't have a color to it. It just looks like dry skin kind of deal. Kind of grody, but <laughs> if you put it in that sense, but I mean, I don't know. We'll keep it going, see how it goes. It looks like a little bit of built up of uh, some fine hairs, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on there, but don't really want to keep picking at it because it's around one of the carriers. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I found so far. We'll keep it going to see what else we can find. Alright guys, so I've covered up the bevel on this side and I'm a little high over here, but it should, if I would have made it level here, it would have covered up there and I'm at 1,860 yards. So the math is right there. So we should be at 2,790 yards, maybe 2,800 by the time we hit this top bevel, which means that the 130 pound test of the Power Pro is getting more line capacity on the reel than 
Jerry Brown, Cortland, um, pretty much all the other breeds. Wow. But it's also leaving a lot of uh, residue everywhere, so yeah, we'll see. We'll keep it rolling. That's 2,000 yards right there and still rocking and rolling over here. We'll keep it going. All right, guys, I'm at 2,500 yards of braid on the reel. Now, the customer, this is his first big reel, and he um, wants a little bit of space there, so I'm gonna mark the braid here, so that way, once I max it out on where I would normally fish it, because I've got experience in it, it would give me a line class uh, capacity for the reel. So right here, though, once I max it out and to take it back to make sure I get to 2500, I'll look for the black mark. So this will make it a lot easier for me instead of uh, guessing on how much line there is, I'll know exactly how much line there is. So, let's see. Okay, I was checking to see if there was any twists in the braid, but no, it's pretty good. What I'm doing is twisting the braid so I can open up the uh, the weave a little bit. That way, maybe some of that ink will get in there a little deeper. But there we go. 2,500 so far of 130. But yeah, I, I'm impressed. Talking to Jeff, guys. <laughs> Alright, so I've covered up the lines here, and I'm at 2,760 yards. Wow, that's amazing. That really is. So this braid is looks like it's got a thin, thinner diameter to it for being 130. That's what it says. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, well it says it's 3,000 yards right there, and there's still a little more braid left on the spool, so we're going to go ahead and spool it all on there, because I mean I still got some room there. Wow. Wow. Alright, Power Pro. Yeah. Finally came off of that. Let's see. <laughs> So I definitely could get probably another 30, 40 yards on there easily. So that puts me, it says, third, I'm hungry guys, I really am, 3,019 yards, almost 3,020 yards. And I'm telling you, I could still get more braid in there, a lot more braid. So it's safe to say that 3,050, 3,100 yards of line I could fit on this reel of the Power Pro 130. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, it says 130 pound test. Pretty interesting, guys. So, well, now I'm going to download it to uh, the 2,500 yard mark right there because, like I said, he wants to make sure that he has room on there for that. And then he'll be able to, at a later date, once he gets more experience under his belt, 
he can actually attach this braid that we are going to cut off because it is a hollow core braid. So this will be really nice. Well, it's time to download it now. Three thousand yards. I got it all on there. All on there. And, and there's still room. Yeah, a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, I'm impressed. Yeah. And I only found one spot in it. One, well, two spots. One was where it had a little bit of buildup in it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like real bad, so I left it. Um, the next one, you could tell where one of their spindles had gotten out, mm -hmm. and they added in. So I went and went in the elaborator to the channel on that, you know. Yeah. And so. Yeah, I think at the end of the month, I'm gonna get in touch with uh, Texas <coughs> and order. Okay, though. Probably some 60, some 60 and some 100 from me. Well, I can get it in yeah. and uh, and sell it because I, I like their, their formula and stuff yeah. like that, and it, it looks real the promising. Thing, them taking you and say, hey, come on. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how we're doing this shit. Mm -hmm. that, that speaks a lot. Yes, it does. It speaks a lot on their... Pride and craftsmanship. Awesome. Yes, sir. That and by doing that, it expanded my knowledge on, you know, the theories that I was thinking, but I didn't know how to explain it, you know. Right. Uh, clearly as they did, you know, or as he did for me, so. Yeah, that, that was mine. It can go in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pencil at? And there we are. There's my 2,500 yard mark right there. So we're going to cut that and I'm going to splice this back in on itself so it's got that tippet. Right there. Definitely got firmness to it, so. Took the whole thing? Yeah, 3,000 yards. It, it could easily get 3100 on there. Yep. I'm wondering if International made their, their spools a little deeper, bigger, too. You know what I mean? I think they are. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Don't know, but it, if y'all know or know somebody that does know, that would be awesome. <laughs> Definitely spliceful, so we'll keep it going. Done and done. 